So you finished going through your grammar packet and you have also completed your before graphic organizer and your after organizer. You've made all of the changes that I've suggested. If you've not done that, I want you to stop this video and go back. Did I make comments? Are there things to change? You want to make those graphic organizers as perfect as possible because soon we're going to be using them to construct your paragraphs. Okay, so if you are in fact ready to construct your paragraphs, you're going to start by going into your drive and creating a new document. And you're going to name it Character Sketch. And you're going to share it with me. I'm J-E-N-N-I Miller. And then you're going to start by opening up your before graphic organizer and literally copying and pasting your information over. You're going to do the same with your after organizer. Then you want to format them into nice paragraphs. So the before will be your first paragraph and the after will be your second paragraph. So right now you just have all of your information strung together. So what I want you to work on is now adding in transitions where they make sense where they would apply. Please don't just stick a transition randomly just to get them in, but we really do want to work on transitioning from one idea to another. For instance, in your before paragraph, you start with one example and then you go into another. So you might use a transition like furthermore, in addition, moreover. And remember, you can go out and Google transition words or transitions and you'll get a ton of resources. So once you've created your paragraphs and then you've placed your transitions where they're appropriate, I want you to think about making a transition between the before paragraph and the after paragraph. If you need to a little model of how to do that, you're going to want to scroll down until you get to the personal symbolism essay. And if you remember, I have a sample essay. In the sample essay, I transition from the topic of my first paragraph to the topic of my second paragraph. I'm having a little problem with my internet. There we go. And so you can use this to kind of guide you in how to make a transition from the first paragraph to the second paragraph. Oops. There we go. So in the end, you'll have two nice paragraphs with transitions, and you'll have a transition from the first paragraph to the next. Now, if you get those two things done, I want you to try to work on an introduction. I'd like to see what you come up with when I just say write an introduction. Do you have a hook? What kind of hook? Were you able to develop a thesis? Just do your best. I want to see what you come up with and then don't worry I will give you instruction. Alright, you're ready to have at it. Give it a shot.